Hey, Phil from Got Memories here. In this video, um, just to figure out uh, people that are looking to get quotes to digitize mini DV, okay? So mini DV tapes like this. My first question to everybody with mini DV is, is it is it high definition or standard definition? And people go, I, I don't know. Then the way you find out is grab your original camcorder um, that you shot everything on. And if they're like these small cameras like this, they're going to be SD. You can get the model number off the base and just Google it. Um, but the telltale sign is if it is HD, it's HDV. Okay, so there's 720 and then there's 1080. Usually it'll say on the side of your camcorder. 2006-ish onwards, and they are usually sizably different. Okay, but you can record HD on any mini dv tape so people go oh it's just regular mini dv grab the original camcorder and have a look and see if you can see hdv on the side and if it does say hdv see if it says 1080 or 720. i would say that 98 percent of tapes i get in are standard definition if you're not sure if you don't have the original camera um, I can check them, but I like to see what you have, you know, just at least because there's a huge difference in what needs to be done if they are HD because some camcorders are proprietary to the original exact camcorder. Now, that's more in the 1080 side of things um, because you can have a, a 1080 mini DV tape. You don't know what's on it. You know, it doesn't tell you because you can record HD on any old mini DV tape um, because it is specific to the camera. So you could have a 1080 uh, recorded thing and you go, yeah, it's HD, it's 1080, put it in a 1080 camera and it won't play. So it has to be with like a Sony or a Panasonic. It gets very complicated. Again, we're talking about the 1%, but I like to get as much information as possible about what you have so I can price it correctly before you ship it off and I know what is going to be involved. Also, where your tapes have been stored. These DV tapes are very, very sensitive to heat, moisture, humidity, damp. Um, you get these pixelation bars across the screen, blue screen, audio loss, video loss, as I've got covered in endless videos on my channel. Um, and it's from all the particles just degrading and coming off and depositing on the video heads inside of the camera and players so it doesn't play it. If you are experiencing that when you play your tapes back, um, let me know. I need to know as much information as possible because when I'm making this video in 2025 and beyond, this type of service is has become very specialized. This is all about content, data recovery and restoration. This is no longer the business I had 20 plus years ago where you could just stick something in, hit play, no problems. Nowadays, it is nothing but problems with all of this stuff. Now it may play fine. I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. Even if, if it's playing fine, People rewind their tapes um, and then hit play for a few seconds and go, oh yeah, it's fine. No, no, let that roll completely to the end of the tape and see what it looks like by the time you're done. I am one of the only companies that is supervising, monitoring, not only as it's transferring, but sometimes I'm not catching things. And once I've captured the file, I check it all back to make sure it's clear picture and audio from beginning to end. If not, then I'm going back and I'm redoing the tape or portions of the tape. It's extremely tedious, time-consuming work. And all of these players, you cannot go to Best Buy anymore as of like the last 15 years and buy these things. It's all old. It's all potentially problematic. So I am the problem guy on YouTube and people are just sending me things to make sure everything's done correctly so you're not having to you know, redo this and you're handing it over to a professional that takes pride in their work, is passionate about this type of stuff and extremely personal customer service, OCD to the max, as it should be with anybody that you're going to be trusting with the only copy of your memories. And please note, no matter who you choose, do this right now. Make sure when you go to your tapes, you are sliding over, see right here, the bottom of your DV tapes, to the left, okay, might be different colors here, but this right here 
I'm just gonna show you, stand by, um, as I do this here, one-handed. So you can see here that yellow thing is in the record. Now, if it is in that position, some Muppet, one, whoever you're gonna be entrusting with this stuff, if they hit record or they miss hit, or if there's a problem with the player and they hit play and then the, the electronics, you know, hits record instead, it's recording over your home movies, okay? So you need to get your fingernail and slide this down to the save position, okay? Make sure you do that. If you do not know what's on your tapes, see here, this tape is all the way like there. That means it's all, you know, at the end of the tape. Now, some tapes have no stickers on them, no nothing. I check them, no charge if there's um, nothing on them or if it's got literally like a minute of footage, just a blip and it's done, um, you know, no charge. And you shouldn't be paying for blank tapes or anything like that with any company. And companies aren't taking money up front. They're just grifting, handing back. You've heard the stories, I'm sure, a million times over if you're familiar with my channel. Um, and uh, yeah, so also what I do with mini DV tapes because they do have the date codes. If you set the camera time and date up correctly back in the day, um, I get the date from the first frame and the last frame. So I put a to and from date range. So like June 15th, 2001 to September 12th, 2002, whatever it is, and that all goes in the file description. So I am going in and checking for all of the dates and stuff, um, which helps tremendously in getting these things organized and placing time and date. Because I'm sure like, if you're like me, you didn't even know what you had for dinner last night, let alone what happened 25 years ago when you recorded stuff. So these tapes potentially from 1995 onwards, so 30 year old format this is, okay? Shelf life of these tapes, if they had a best before sticker on them, like food or anything like that, it, it would have been 15 to 20 years after manufacture date, but they don't. And everyone assumes these things are gonna be playing perfectly, everyone's the same, it could not be further from the truth. These are very fiddly and you have to have absolutely impeccably clean players to make sure this stuff is playing through correctly. Companies are not maintaining their equipment, they're not cleaning things, they're not replacing things, and they're also not paying staff a living wage. So when they're just dragging people off the street, no, no high school diploma required, um, they're paying a minimum wage, who do you think, do you think they're gonna be caring about your home movies? Do you think they're gonna be trained enough to deal with all of the problems with these? Absolutely not. Even some of the best companies out there have just got the perfect excuse to hand back crap or blank tapes with nothing transferred, saying this too old to transfer. You've left them here, you've left them there, sorry. And for those of you that have uh, kept, you know, the 30% of people that have kept the, <laughs> their tapes indoors in the cases free from dust and bugs and all the ugh, pack rat type stuff that I see, um, and you think, no, my stuff is in pristine condition. I'm going to hand them to any company and they're just going to play fine. No, because they're just dragging in everybody's tapes like a fishing trawler and just shoving it in the same washing machine, which is the dirty, filthy players. And then your tapes go in and after all the dirty, crappy tapes and they go, sorry, your tapes have gone bad. No, it's not my tapes. It's your players. So my consumer awareness for this industry is just banging on on YouTube about all of the just blind stuff that people are sending off to people. Not checking Google Maps for reviews is up to like 403, I think 404 today. It's impossible to find a company without those kind of reviews and YouTube content. This is where all the work is done. I have complete transparency on how it's done, where it's done. We got my only employees, Samantha and Birdie and Winston are the mascots here. Hello, Winston. Hey. So anyway, there you go. HDV or mini DV. Sorry to bore you if this has been long winded. I apologize. But this is important. If this, these tapes are important to you, you got one copy of it. So make sure you do your due diligence. If it's through me, I'll knock it out of the park for you. If you are shopping around, you got to see in, whoever's got the best stuff. If this stuff is either priceless or it's worthless. It, it, worthless. If it's worthless, I'm, please put it in the trash. Throw it all away, out of sight, out of mind. You're going to save yourself money and you're going to save yourself the headache. But if it means something to you, you hand it over to somebody 
that is gonna be treating it like their own tapes, okay? That's all I can say. If you've got somebody in your corner of the world, wherever you are in the world, because people ship to me from all over the world um, because they want somebody that's screwed on, that's gonna be handling their, their, their memories with care, attention to detail, and fast turnaround times, and all of that amazing, top-notch customer service experience. Okay, cheers, bye.